another year, another Call of Duty. We have the beta coming up here quite soon. You can see the uh, details behind me a little bit if I just Thanos snap myself out of existence. Uh, you can see that um, the beta is coming up, you know, and whether you have the early access based on a pre-order or whatnot, there's all of that. But is your PC ready? Can you hop into this thing? Well, they have released the system requirements for the public beta. And I'll give you my thoughts on this, help you see how your GPU would stack up, and also compare it to the previous Modern Warfare game that came out in 2019. Because I was actually surprised, well, somewhat surprised, um, to see that the, the uh, GPU and CPU demands don't seem to have been increased very much, at least according to the system requirements from that previous game. Uh, also, it doesn't tell us, it just gives us me, uh, minimum and recommended, and it doesn't tell us what frame rate that's targeting and what resolution and graphics settings. So I'm gonna say that I think that this is targeting similar performance to what the previous Modern Warfare game was targeting with their minimum and recommended. That would make sense to me. And if I hop over to that page for a second, um, that, to be clear, what's behind me right now is the old Modern Warfare uh, from 2019. This one doesn't list a fr uh, frame rate and resolution target for the minimum either, but it does say that their recommended was for 60 FPS in most situations with options set to medium. Now, it doesn't even say the resolution, but I'm just going to call it I'm assuming that that was for 1080p, uh, which is kind of the default standard um, for PC when not mentioned otherwise. So anyway, these are the previous game's recommendations. They had a GeForce, GeForce GTX 970, a GTX 1660, uh, or a RX 580, or R9 390. And that's interesting because we look at the recommended here, we are seeing a GTX 1060 or RX 580. So the RX 580 is still listed and the GTX 1060 is relatively similar to what we saw there. The minimum specs here are a GTX 960 or AMD RX 470. Now that pairing is a little bit interesting. Let me uh, pop over to a performance chart over here. Uh, so this is from Tech Power Up, and I, I have to be clear that this is not perfect. And especially on older GPUs, sometimes the performance scaling can be very different depending on the, um, you know, the graphics API that the newer game is running on and how optimized the drivers are on these older GPUs, things like that. So uh, notice they do mention that you do need a DX12 compatible system. And sometimes on these older graphics cards, um, you know, they, they kind of underperform a little bit at DX12, that kind of thing. Uh, but the GTX 960 is listed as, as the minimum, which I would say is probably not going to be getting you 60 FPS, and it's probably going to be a lowest settings, and you might be running at below 1080p resolution and all of that. But you can see the um, you know other GPUs here kind of nearby. These are ones that would be below the minimum. And if we compare it to the previous game in, 20, uh, in 2019, they had their minimum set at a GTX 670 or 1650, or Radeon 7950. Um, so you can kind of see where that that, that compares. So we, we are having the minimums bumped up uh, at least a little bit here. Now it's interesting to me that again, that they're putting the 960 up against the 470. So notice that like a 1050 Ti is fairly close to this uh, this level of performance. Um, you can see some other, other GPUs here that are similar. Here's your GTX 1650. And then the RX 470 is generally noticeably faster than a GTX 960. So like I said, kind of interesting to me that those were listed uh, side by side there for the minimum. Notice they do mention the video memory is only uh, necessary to be at three gigabytes. A lot of games nowadays are requiring more than that. And um, when we jump up to the recommended spec, again, even though uh, it is recommending these GPUs, they're still only listing three gigabytes needed. So this could be the GTX 1060 three gigabyte, which would be good news for some people. Um, and so if we scroll up, so how much more powerful is the minimum, you know, jumping up to the recommended? Well, if we keep scrolling here, um, Here's your RX 570, GTX 970, scrolling up. Here's your GTX 1060, so, and, and then the 580 is fairly closely um, 
tied with that one in, in relative performance. So that was a, a pretty healthy jump up here to the recommended, but these are still older GPUs. The GTX 1060 is still your you know most popular uh, GPU on the Steam survey and all of that. So it's looking like a lot of people should be able to get into this game just fine. Um, the RAM recommendations jumping from eight to 16, uh, you're needing 25 gigabytes of storage space for this beta. And then um, on the CPU side of things, the lowest end CPUs they're listing are the i5-3570 and the AMD Ryzen 5 1600X. Now, some details on that. The uh, i5-3570 is a four core, four thread CPU um, from way back in Ivy Bridge. So this is from, um, oh, what year is this? 2012. So not a lot required to just hop in the game with the minimums. The Ryzen 5 1600X is a six core, 12 thread and much newer, um, although it is uh, from 2017. So we're still talking over five years old at this point. And this was the first generation of Ryzen's, um, which didn't have um, super amazing gaming performance relative to the, the current at the time Intel competition. And newer generations of AMD CPUs should do a lot better. If we jump over to the recommended, we see the uh, Intel recommendation jumping to the i7-4770K. This is a four core, eight thread CPU with some, you know, a little bit newer, a little bit higher you know, frequencies and all of that with that hyper threading. And this is a 2013 chip, so still quite old, not asking a lot. And that AMD CPU it's recommending is the Ryzen 7 1800X. Now this is eight core 16 thread, but it's still from that same first generation of Ryzen's, um, which I was actually surprised to see because usually in gaming performance, the, uh, the core jump that you see going from the six core 12 thread up to the eight core 16 thread doesn't usually make a huge difference. So I wonder if this is just what they happen to have in their test system, um, because I would be actually a little surprised to see that jump making a massive difference in the, uh, in the game performance, especially when they're saying it shouldn't be too core sensitive since their Intel recommendation uh, is only four core, eight thread and significantly older. So anyway, that was interesting to me. Uh, overall, uh, that's the system requirements. Now, are you guys interested in me benchmarking the, um, be benchmarking the performance of this? Like I do have a GTX 1060 I could test out in this game if I, if I get the beta. Are you guys getting the beta? <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm interested, you know, my, my general take on Call of Duty is I think it's fun for the beta weekend each year, and then I think that's about enough for me, I know. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't offend any of you who are much more into it. I hope all of you have an excellent day.